new level. Ooh. How's it going, Danielle? Good morning. It is a wonderful morning here downtown Corpus Christi, and I am so excited because I'm in making more plans for you guys. I'm inviting you to the Corpus Christi Hot Tamale Festival. And speaking of hot tamales, look at this. Doesn't this look absolutely amazing? I know it does. You don't even have to answer that. Uh, but And um, just to get you in the little bit of a spirit for this event, I have a joke for you really quickly, you guys. Uh, why did the tamale go to the hospital? Why, Danielle? Why? Because it was feeling poquito tamalito. <laughs> Get it? Tamalito? Come on, you guys. I'm so excited to tell you about the details, so just hang in there, okay? <laughs> She's got jokes. I love her. We'll be back. Good morning, everyone. So food, music, culture, and community. There is a huge event that's happening near the coast this weekend, and you're going to want to go. That's right. It's called Tamalada, and Danielle is out there right now. It's the biggest tamalada you've ever heard of or imagined. Hey, girl. What is up, you guys? Don't worry. I still got the jokes and the puns coming, but I have some friends uh, here to help me out with that. So come on over. I want to introduce you to Deandra and Alyssa. So Deandra, this is the Corpus Christi Hot Tamale Festival. So tell me what this event is about, what the goal is, all the good stuff that we want to know. Well, this is our flagship event for Enrich Local, which is a nonprofit. And this year, all of our proceeds are going to the South Texas excuse me, Art Museum of South Texas Youth Program Initiative, the Garcia Outreach, Outreach Center, which helps provide continuing arts educations for students around here. They get discounted tuition and offers on-site program, off-site programming from the museum that promotes literacy. Um, and actually our festival is November 23rd. That's the Saturday before Thanksgiving, Ooh. noon to 10 p.m. right here in beautiful downtown Corpus Christi. We have local vendors. We have vendors coming in from Houston, from San Antonio with all different types of tamales. I can't wait. Very cool. I am so excited about this. And you guys, uh, what could be better than eating tamales for a great cause? Like Deandra said, okay, I'm going to hop on over here because speaking of tamales, we want to get our hands wet here with some good, delicious food. I've got Alyssa here. And hold on, let me let me correct myself. Chef Hala Pena. <laughs> Alyssa Pena. Oh, my gosh. She's amazing. So uh, tell me a little bit about what you're going to make us make for us right now. Okay, so we're going to start with some very traditional tamales. You're going to take a corn oja or, or a corn husk. You're going to kind of trim these to how you want them. You're going to add masa. Now, we don't have to make masa anymore. We don't have to ground our own corn. We don't have to do anything. Uh, the stores make it nice and easy. So you're going to spread this about halfway to a quarter way down. You're going to get a nice, big, thick chunk here. You're going to spread this evenly, which is not spreading very easily <laughs> at the moment. I think everyone's just glad that I'm not the one cooking the food. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to spread this here and get it nice and even all the way down. Okay, once you've got like a good thick layer here, we can put our meat down the center. Looks so good already, you guys. And this meat, what I do is I use my jalapenos, I use the chipotle guajillo. The spices that you use in this are going to be sit here. So guajillo peppers, ancho peppers, nice and smoky meat. You want to spice your masa and spice your meat to make sure that you've got flavor on all the levels. Right? I'm down for flavor, I'm down for spice. Okay, tell, now tell me what you're doing. Okay, so you're going to flip over the first side, right? You want to get that nice and even. You're going to flip it over again so it's nice and sealed. And then you're going to fold this down. So you can place it right here. Once you get all of your um, tamales ready to go, you're gonna put them in a big steamer pot. You're gonna put a big foil ball in the middle, <laughs> and then you're gonna steam them for like an hour and 20 minutes. Let them rest, and then they come out nice and beautiful like this. Oh my goodness. And they peel away from the oja, perfect. Perfectly, <gasps> just like this. So that, and that's how you know. When it peels off and the, the oja is completely clean, that's how you know they're ready to go. <laughs> Add your salsa, chili con carne, whatever you want. Very good. All right, you guys, I am so excited. This is so much fun. Uh, and I cannot wait to dig into this. Deandra and Chef Jalapena want to make sure that you come on over uh, and take part in this. So you guys, no matter where you live in Texas, this is a place you want to be. And I'll save you tamales if you're nice. <laughs> oh, but only if we're nice. Dang it, we got to be on our best behavior. Thanks, Danielle. <laughs> so cute. And for more info on the fifth annual Hot Tamale Festival, it's Saturday, November 23rd. So you have some time to make you plans. Do. You can go to their website, cchottamalefest.com. <laughs> That's a cool thing to say. I know. <laughs> I was just picturing the hot tamales, the candy. I'm thinking but right now you were in all red, so I was thinking oh, the hot hey. tamale candy, the same hot thing. Tamales. Crazy. All kinds of red things happening. Hey, well, we all love tacos, right? Of course. But depending on whether you like hard shell 
our soft shell tacos. It's gonna, it actually says a lot about your personality. Who knew? <laughs> We're gonna dig into that a little bit later. Get it? <laughs> See what we did there? I saw what you did there. Are you or a loved one between the ages? Segment is sponsored by Slim Medica. Good morning, everyone. That healthy body that you have always dreamed of could be yours. You just have to make one phone call. And Maria Ramos with Slim Medica is here to tell us more about their cool sculpting technology. Good morning. Hi, good morning. It's so good to see you. And I know at this point everyone's heard of cool sculpting, but maybe right. they don't know exactly how it works. So right. tell us about it. So for the viewers that don't know what cool sculpting is, it uses freezing technology. It's actually the only FDA cleared machine to help reduce uh, fat. So it actually kills 25% of fat cells in just 35 minutes. Unlike liposuction, mm -hmm. it's non-invasive, it's non-surgical. You don't have to take off of work. You literally come in for about 35 minutes to an hour, depending on the area. We treat that fat. Our patients are watching Netflix, they're on you know work calls, <laughs> right. they're watching TV. So there's very comfortable treatment. And the mm -hmm. reason why we decided to bring it to Slimatica is because they just upgraded all their technology, which means that it's 80% more comfortable. We can treat more areas. So it's FDA cleared nine areas from chin to the knees. Um, uh, and it's a lot quicker. So you'll see results in just three weeks, all the way up to 12 weeks. Um, oh so with weight loss, you know, your fat cells are shrinking, mm -hmm. but you still have those fat cells and you still have that stubborn fat that just won't go away no matter how many crunches you do. Now with cool sculpting, we're actually permanently destroying those fat cells. So they're just, they're not going to come back. Like you will never gain weight there again. Exactly. It's permanent yes. weight loss. Yes. And as you can see the picture that we have here, that's actually one of our patients. And we actually only treated her abdomen and all around she saw an improvement like we could literally sculpt your waist however wow. you want it so it's pretty incredible and those yeah. results were just seen in 45 days and that's just one treatment and 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 to think that people would go and get liposuction and have downtime right. for weeks and weeks and this you're just going during your lunch break yeah you don't have to take off work you can go back to your daily activities you can exercise immediately after and another reason why we're getting such amazing results mm -hmm. is because we're also adding the evive shockwave therapy to the treatments and that's just going to help break down the fat cells even more it's okay. going to improve it actually by 70%. So that's a pretty big number and we're actually the only clinic in the country that's in, that's using both technologies when you purchase school sculpting. So it's pretty incredible yeah. um, and in as, as little as three weeks you'll see the results. And I'm seeing all of these different areas that it works. So yes. wherever your trouble spot is, they can help you get it where you want it to be. Now, I know you have a special offer, too, just for daytime viewers. If they we purchase do. Cool Sculpting, they will receive, what will they get, Maria? So they're going to get the Evive Shockwave Therapy at no cost, and then they're also going to get the Slimetica Signature Weight Loss. So if you are trying to lose some weight, whether you're 5 to 30 pounds from your ideal goal weight, we can help you get there. And, and again, add the Cool Sculpting to it, so you'll be looking amazing for the holidays. And in no time. In no time, exactly. Exactly. so fast so call or text them right now 210-361-5592 get that special offer and then for more on Slimetica of course they are located here in San Antonio if you're here they're somewhere close to you in town but if you're out of town it is worth the trip on the next wheel Good morning. Welcome back, everyone. It's Taco Tuesday. It is. Although I feel like in Texas every day <laughs> every is day Taco is. Day, right? <laughs> so they have done some research when it comes to tacos. And depending on whether you, you like hard shell or soft shell tacos, you can find out a lot about your personality. I was thinking so, this could be a good debate. Too. Are you crunchy or soft? Oh, man. <laughs> I was thinking about it this morning. I think I'm more soft. I like crunchy okay. tacos, they're really good, uh -huh. but if it came down to it, I you prefer flour or corn tortillas. But see, I only do soft when it's fajitas. If it's Same. a taco, I always go crunchy. Really? So, mm. uh, Breakfast tacos, you go crunchy? No, if it's a taco, like a beat, like a like crunchy a dinner taco, taco okay, or a yeah. taco taco. Yeah, yeah, mm. well. You know, so it's hard like, to compare the two. It's hard. It's hard to choose. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I don't even want to be a part of this debate because I love them both so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you don't have to make a decision okay, right thank, now. X. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. if you like, hard, if you're a hard sheller, uh huh. You're adventurous, curious, happy, hardworking, high maintenance, and organized. Uh oh. <laughs> kind of feel like I'm a hard sheller. <laughs> yep. If you're a soft sheller, you're calm, clean, creative, friendly, and loyal. Hmm. Also boring. <laughs> <laughs> Hard shell fans tend to be more extroverted. Soft shell lovers are more likely to be a little introverted. All right. See, I like both. I so, like both too. I mean, 
Anywho, just says a lot. <laughs> I've learned nothing. And nothing. Like, Let's just try to write something and right. you know, have everybody go back and we forth about. We have all this extra right. money. Let's yeah. fund this research. Look, I'll take either one right now. <laughs> you just want to throw it at me. Go just, ahead. As long as it's free. Right. <laughs> Exactly. He likes it. <laughs> Free 99. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, here's some more research for you when it comes to your job. And these are kind of obvious. It's uh, what makes you and your surrounding when it comes to your work and your coworkers that makes you happy. So okay. it's having a, su a successful job. When it comes to it, the employees that feel happiest or have good benefits and salary. Obs. Their coworkers are dope. Uh, <laughs> the flexibility that the job provides, a sense of purpose and growth and potential. So. Hmm. And flexibility. Mm -hmm. In other words, that. you're able to sneak out early. Yes. I mean, nobody notices. <laughs> go and go. Preferably a place without a lot of cameras. <laughs> we work in the wrong business. Right. <laughs> There's cameras <Yeah>. everywhere. <laughs> well, hey, if um, you're interested in space and you like, you know, keeping up with everything NASA is doing, the International Space Station is gearing up for a record number of spacewalks cool. this year. So we're going to go to space a lot, and we're going to walk around in space a lot, or float around. Float. There's not a lot of walking that happens in space. <laughs> so the first of five spacewalks will take place this weekend with two astronauts going there. So that'll be fun. Don't, oh, they're going to the space station. Gotcha. Okay. And they're going to stay for more than 300 days. That is a long time. A very long time. To not be home. What We've to talked do? about yeah. this. I wouldn't do well in space. <laughs> I'm in a suit. <laughs> Just floating around all day. Your hair. What do you do? How do I work out? <laughs> <laughs> they got machines. They, they got ways to do it, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, well, I know how they, again, yeah. I know how you I go know. to the bathroom in space. <laughs> <laughs> Everything floats. That's a problem for me. Oh, That's man. It's a problem. You can't be a lady in space. <laughs> I don't think you care at that point, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, there's a uh, father and son that live in Colorado, and they are using their 3D printer to print out the coolest thing ever, a Lambo. That's right, yeah. they're going to print out a Lamborghini, just a shell part. They're okay. going to put a Corvette engine a wow. Corvette engine into it. The car should hit about 200 miles per hour when it comes down to it, but I guess it's a little side project for them. Wow. Only 200. Yeah. <laughs> That's because it'll have that fast. Corvette engine, yeah. right? How fast does a Lambo go? More than 200. I know, but how fast? I'm not sure. I've sure, got sure to Google. Gots to Google. <laughs> I'm on it. Well, while you do that, we'll talk about movies mm -hmm. that are coming out. So, hey, if you want to go to the movies this weekend, if you're looking for something to do, there's some movies out that the kids will love. The Addams Family. <laughs> that one is finally out. I'm so excited to see this. Dun, 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 dun. So, members of the mysterious and spooky Addams Family, Gomez, Morticia, Pugsley, Wednesday, <laughs> Uncle Fester, and Grandma, are readily preparing for a visit from their even creepier relatives. <laughs> but trouble soon arises when shady TV personality Margot Needler realizes that the Adams Erie Hilltop Mansion is standing in the way of her dream to sell all the houses in the neighborhood. Oh, man. So always one. We'll see how they save the mansion. <laughs> It looks cute. All right, something else that's out is Jexy. It's about a man's new cell phone uh, that turns into a technology nightmare. Now, when the artificial intelligence program becomes obsessed with him, that's when things really start to get crazy. I love this guy. <laughs> is, it's, is it a comedy or is it like a dark comedy? It, that's what I'm curious. It doesn't give me either one of those. Just a comedy. Mm -hmm. I don't think he can do anything but comedy. He's so yeah. good at it. <laughs> so funny. And also, ooh, you lo we love Will Smith. He is starring in Gemini Man. I've been seeing this preview this one, a lot, yeah. hearing about this one. He's an elite assassin who becomes the target of a mysterious young operative who can seemingly predict his every move. Oh, man. That's a problem. <laughs> when you're trying to get away and make a move, but they know where you're going. <laughs> what your moves are. <laughs> Sounds like a relationship. It's like my mom. <laughs> That's like my parent, like a parent. You know, a parent, we always know, what I you know doing? what you're going to do before that. you do it, because I already <laughs> tried it when I was your age. So anyway, all of those are out this weekend, and we also want to remind you to join us for Film Flickers every single weekend. We host that on Saturdays at 11 p.m. on Fox 29, then Saturdays at 11 p.m. on Fox 38 if you live in or around Corpus Christi, and then Sundays at 11 p.m. on the CW35. And do not go anywhere because today on social media, we're talking about fashion trends, and we wanted to know which fashion trend you wish 
would go away. Oh man, Mel says those tight leggings are yoga pants and false eyelashes. Oh. <laughs> wow. Not happening, Mel. <laughs> I'm keeping both. <laughs>Good morning. It's an event that raises money for people currently in the fight of their lives against cancer. And Erin Urkeline is here to tell us about this year's Healing Hearts Gala. Good morning. I love when you're here. Good morning. It's so nice to be here. We love this time of year. Yeah. I can't believe it's already time again. I know. It goes by so fast. It does. For people who haven't heard of the Healing Hearts Gala, tell them why we have it sure. and where the money's going. So eight years ago, our lovely Karen Martinez was in the fight of her life, mm -hmm. late stage breast cancer with three young kids. Um, anchor here at the station and she decided to start the Healing Hearts Gala and over the last eight years if you can believe it she's her legacy has managed to raise a half a million dollars to give Gosh. right back to the community every penny raised here stays here to help cancer patients in San Antonio and Bear County every time I see video video of her it, oh, I get choked up yep. she was so amazing such a wonderful person and she fought so hard and in her final days I remember Yami telling all of us, Yami, her, her best friend, that what she wanted more than anything was to help other people mm -hmm. who were in her situation. And she's managed to do that for eight years. It's really, it's remarkable. And I um, am with you getting choked up yeah, because I got tough. to know Karen as you all did very well. And she was just such a force of good. It's wonderful. Um, in the middle of what was a really horrible time for her, mm -hmm. she decided to use whatever leverage she could to make it better for everybody else. And again, um, this party has managed to raise that much money, a half a million dollars that has gone right back to other cancer patients, not only helping them survive, but thrive. Mm -hmm. And that was, we just want to get together and continue to celebrate her legacy. Yeah. Um, and it's been wonderful. How can people get involved? Are there still tables available? There what are tables. do? There's tables available. There's tickets available. Everything is on the website at thrivewell.org. We have a special website or special page on our website that's dedicated to Karen. So all the information is there. Um, we'd love to have folks join. If they can't come to the gala, we are going to host a telethon yeah. on the two stations uh, the Thursday before, so mm -hmm. October 17th. You'll see hits um, all day, and you can give that way. You know, again, um, for folks who may, may think that $5 doesn't make a difference, if they call in that day, they are making a difference. So we'll take big donations, small donations, everything in between. Again, every penny stays here, and we just want to help more folks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love what y'all are doing, and I know Karen is smiling. I know yeah, absolutely. she's looking down, yep. and she is smiling, and she wants everyone to get involved and yep. make a difference. Yep. And for more on the Thrive Well Cancer Foundation, there's their phone number. You can also go to thrivewell.org if you would just like to learn more about absolutely. what they do or make a donation. And then the Healing Hearts Gala, October 19th from 6 to 11. It's at the Omni San Antonio Hotel at the Colonnade. You can go to their website. I will be there. Honored to be a part of it, and we hope that you will all join us. Thank you so much, Erin. Thank you for having us. All right, everyone, and we'll be right back. This segment is sponsored by Laser Surgical Solutions RGV. Good morning and welcome back to Daytime with Kimberly and Esteban. Today we're going to McAllen to drop by Laser Surgical Solutions RGV. This wound and vascular practice focuses on non-invasive screenings and minimally invasive treatments while providing quality care to our Rio Grande Valley community. We spoke with Dr. Cynthia Salinas for more. Take a look. So we are a multidisciplinary group. We have, we, we specialize in vascular medicine mostly and we have wound care physicians. So we um, sort of pride ourselves in being able to um, treat as many, uh, treat a lot of patients with as many conditions as we can. What we tried to do and what we're doing now is making our clinic into sort of like a one-stop shop. And so we have, um, where we're standing, which is our ambulatory surgery center, which is where we can do most of our procedures. Um, we do do some of our procedures in our office, but this clinic in and of itself has three different entities. So we have the ambulatory surgery center, then we have our main clinic, which is in the middle of the building. And then at the back of the building, we have an accredited vascular lab. And so you really walk in and from the beginning, we are very efficient on trying to get your studies that you need so that we can get your, whatever you need to get done, your plan of care as quickly as possible. And that becomes very important when we do have these patients that come in with 
it's diabetic foot ulcers or any wounds at the lower extremities where they're super high risk for amputation, the faster we can get their vascular status worked up and then intervened upon if they need it, the less risk they have of amputation and the, the better that we meet our goals for prevention of amputation. And so um, I really think that our efficiency is what really makes us stand out um, from all of the other clinics in the Valley. We are Laser Surgical Solutions RGV, where our motto is educate before amputate. And if you have any questions, any, any problems, just feel free to call us. We're, we're, our main location is in McAllen, but we have locations across the Valley from Rio Grande City to Raymondville. So to make an appointment, you just call our number at the bottom of your screen, or you can call our, main, our hotline, which is available 24-7 at 866-NO-WOUND. Laser Surgical Solutions RGV envisions every member of our local community living the best life possible, free from any suffering or discomfort in the lower leg. This vascular and wound care team of experts specializes in improving lower leg circulation and they're here to help. For more information on Laser Surgical Solutions RGV, you can visit them at 909 North Jackson Road in McAllen. You can also give them a call at 956-992-9161, log on to lasersurgicalsolutionsrgv.com, or check them out on Facebook. Want to love the way your future nothing to do with Netflix, so they're banning the streaming service from advertising on some of its networks. That's crazy. I don't really understand why. Did they mention anything other than... I, that they don't like each other? Yeah. No. No one said anything. <laughs> but, yeah. Competing streaming services, that's I what it guess. is. I know. I'm, I'm still going to choose Netflix. Sorry, Disney. <laughs> Can't do it. Good stuff. Or just get them all. And then Macy's, uh, they're going to be hiring 80,000 80, seasonal employees for its stores, uh, warehouses, and call centers. So if you're looking for some holiday work, they're looking to hire. So Good. make sure you go try and check them out. They're trying to help give back. It's a lot of peeps there. 80,000, yeah. Also, you know how when you use Google Maps and you obviously cannot hide what you're doing, you can't go incognito? Well, now you can. Hmm. I just always assumed I was incognito. I, I, I guess know I was they, not yeah. being so sneaky after <laughs> all. But it don't assume they say that it makes your movements untraceable. It's just a mode that you can go into that lets you cut down on recording where you're going and where you've been. And you can just pause the location sharing, which I never share. Why does anyone share? share? <laughs> don't they know all the serial killers are just waiting <laughs> to see exactly where you're going? Well, sometimes if you're going someplace and you need to ping where you're at right, for somebody else. Right, but that's just, you're sharing with one person yeah. in particular, right? I don't want the whole world knowing where I'm yeah. going. <laughs> and, uh, judging me if I want to go and get something to eat that I shouldn't. <laughs> Late at night on the weekend, it's nobody's business but mine. Map it to where you got to get right. to. I didn't even think about that. Nobody's beeswax. It's crazy. <laughs> Great My cheat day. Oh, well, that's very cool. <laughs> Okay, also, Sarcastic Zodiac sign. Yes, the, one of us made the list. Who uh -oh. could it be? Oh, good old Gemini. They are hysterically witty. Hey! <laughs> We're also apparently sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, How are so. you two not on that? Why am I the only one on that list? I mean, I belong on that list, but so do you. I'm usually on the other list. The naughty list. That one too, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, well, tomorrow you have to tune in because... If you enjoy premium quality liquor, there's a new technology that gives you the best really quickly and not very costly. That's right. It's really cool. The device is going to be here. This device. Uh, that whole thing? Yes. It turn I guess if you have a beer chasing tornadoes a beer with budget that? and champagne taste. <laughs> there wow. you go. This is this is for you. They're gonna fit that in here? I don't know that whole thing. I think it's a mini version. <laughs> they will not be fitting that in the studio. It looks like uh, those things in the back of the truck that tornado right. chasers use. Oh, yeah. Movie <laughs> twister. Yes. Yeah. All right, everyone. Social media today, we asked you which fashion trend do you wish would go away? <laughs> Mary says, uh, VC. Visco girls. No. Well, <laughs> my daughter, Lexi's obsessed with being Visco these days. That's, Mom, now I get it. Now I'm I get Visco. It. She's nine. 
<laughs> it's like lots of scrunchies and the hydro flasks uh -huh. and Thank you for shell explaining. necklaces. I didn't know what that I was. I didn't know a few months ago. Now I'm All well right. aware. <laughs> Visco. All right. You have to say it like that. Visco. Visco. It's Visco. very manly. Visco. Visco. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, says, Lexi. <laughs> Michael says, I wish guys would pick up their pants. Yeah, we've been struggling with that for years, bro. <laughs> only, plumber, only plumbers get away with that. <laughs> Not regular guys. Chris says septum rings. Nothing attractive about something hanging out of a person's nose. <laughs> Crystal says, skinny jeans on dudes. Some use a belt, but doesn't really. DQ has.